everyone, and welcome back to Digimon World DS. Oh boy, I'm excited to get back because we're about to get Pekmon and the Rugamon, and we're not too far away from where Garurumon or, uh, did I say Garurumon here? No, Darugamon. Did I say Darugamon? I'm already losing my mind. It's a great start to the video. And we're about to get Mega Seedramon. I almost said Metal, and I'm like, no, that's the Mega. It's the wrong one, Chaos. And then maybe we'll be getting Growlmon, too. Today might be the day of mini Digivolutions, depending on how things go. But anyways, someone brought to my attention the other day, and I almost didn't believe them when they said it. We're going to go to Packet Swamp to start and get through the main story, and then we'll look at doing favor quests. But someone told me, like, yo, dude, it's been like, uh, I was looking at your Dust playthrough. It's crazy how much difference, like, three years can make. And I was like, what? Nah, man, I played Dusk like, I don't know, a year and a half ago, maybe? Maybe two years ago? Sure enough, I went and looked at it. Uh, in July, this video should be going up in June still. Yeah, it's only like June 16th. This video is definitely going up in June. In July, it'll have been three years since I played Digimon World Dusk on the channel. I had no idea that it had been that long since I played Dusk. It feels like it was just yesterday. It just, it blew my mind, man. I cannot believe it. But anyways, so, you're the Gatsumon living here. I was hoping you could give me a star piece that you guys have. A star piece? What's wrong? Is there a problem? In fact, the ingredients for a star piece are only found in our habitat. But a short time ago, Shogun Gekumon and the others came to chase us out. So there's no way we can make a star piece now. I'm sorry. I see. That is a problem. I'll tell you what. I'll talk to them. And tell them to give back your home. R really that would be very helpful, thanks. You need to go into the whirlpools that spin to the left to proceed to certain areas, so be alert. I got it, thanks. All right, time for the most hated thing of my childhood. Maybe not the most hated, but one of the most hated. I despise Packet and Loop Swamp. They're both terrible. In Packet Swamp, whirlpools spin either fast or slow. A fast spinning whirlpool will send you to a slow spinning whirlpool, yep. Since Shogun Gekumon and the others arrived, they chased us out of our home, so there's no way we can make a star piece now. Good golly, Gecko! I do not remember the pathway for Loop Swamp, or I mean for Packet Swamp, at all. I could probably, like, muscle memory my way through, um... Oh my goodness, a Blossomon. I could probably muscle memory my way through Loop Swamp, because it'll just become second nature to me with how many times I've gone through it. I should use Breath of Fire. That probably would have done more. Oh well. But, uh... I'm pretty sure Packet Swamp is not like a carbon copy. They're definitely two different areas in terms of layout. I have no idea which way to go. Oh, this hits like three times, doesn't it? Yep. Aw, oh, dude, it's too easy. I'm actually the greatest video game player to ever live. Get out of me, Swamp! How dare you live that after I made the Shrek reference? Unacceptable. Be gone. What scum. Yo, 47 experience. It's pretty good. Oh, Doromon is so close. I'm gonna have to edit the layout so friggin' much, my dudes. It's not even funny. This is not gonna be a fun time editing for chaos. I think I might be muscle memorying my way through this right now. Is this the right way? I actually have no idea. I got the Digi Egg of Kindness. Okay. Oh, wait, what? right there was the boss symbol. So I gotta get there somehow. I just don't remember how. I should probably be trying to, like, make a mental map of the place in my head, but guess what I'm definitely not doing? Making a mental map of the place in my head. I'm actually really quickly, I'm a little worried that the audio adjustment is a little off. I think the game audio is a little too low, so I'm going to turn it up just a smidge. That should be a good amount. If the game audio is now too loud, I apologize. I didn't turn it up by very much. I just turned it up, like, literally a decibel. So if it is now too loud, my B. I should have checked all this before actually starting the recording, but I thought it was fine, but as I was looking at it while we were playing the game here, I was like, ah, hey, is it fun? Is my voice actually just a little too loud? All right, I'm already, like, beyond tired of Spiral Flower. Can we just, like, edit that out of the game, please? Okay, thanks. Please tell me you're going to get a move before the Blossom on. All right, well, this is just incredibly disappointing like you would not believe don't use spiral flower 69 nice stop that 
I hate you. I hate you a lot because I want all of my Digimon to be getting experience right now. They need it. They need this experience. It's good for their bones. We don't have any Digi Milk to give them. Digi Milk is a thing in Dawn and Dusk. I don't think it's a thing in this game. So they need this experience for their bones. Please die to this. Because I'm not sure the other move would Rock Propeller would do enough. Oh, thank you. We're not like, we're not in need of an ultimate level Digimon. I think this is a dead end. No, maybe not. No, it's not. Okay. Ooh, you gotta be gold, I think, to open these purple boys. I do love that shade of purple. That's like my favorite color right there. That royal looking purple. I love it. Vegemon? What are you doing here? Who invited you to the party? Who wants some broiled crabs? Broiled? Boiled? Words? Broiled is a word, isn't it? I think it is. I don't know. Please be dead. Super dead. Perfect. That's my favorite kind of dead. Think you're going to die to a karate punch? You sure are. Ow. My feelings. It won't be too much longer. Once we start, like, getting a bunch of ultimates, we'll be at the point of the game where, uh... I'm running a little on MP. Let's, like, actually... I could probably kill you with just three more normal attacks. The guru has got plenty of, uh... MP, actually. I'll just use Karate Punch with him. But, uh, once we start getting ultimates, we'll start having a lot more moves that can hit multiple areas or hit multiple times. We'll be able to start beating Digimon that are spread out like that a lot easier. And also, it's finally time! Let's go! My favorite Digimon is Digivolving! Give me Darugamon. Go! Dorumon! Digivolved into my boy. Look at those claws. They're so red and shiny. Do you have nail polish on? All right, that boosts you up to uh, boosts you up to 21, I think it was, and then your um, what you call it? Your aptitude is 30. So I assume Door Grandma needs you to be level 30. Yep, with 2,000 Dragon experience. All right, 2,000 isn't too bad. And you'll get boosted up to level 33 at that point. Look at you, you beautiful HP type. I love you. Level 42 and level 64. Get pumped and increase attack? Who cares? What's your trait? What are your traits? Oh, no, it's a single trait. Oh, this is the game that, pass, that you can pass traits on from Digimon to Digimon, right? It's dawn and dusk where each Digimon has its own predetermined, like, three or four traits. Oh, we could have gotten the light Digi-egging on into Sihomon. Lovely. Also in this game, someone pointed it out in the comments because they were asking if this was the game where it happens or not. But in this game, you don't have to meet the requirements for your degeneration. You can degenerate all the way back to like from Mega to in training, which is probably what we'll be doing. Because like I said, we need an Ankylomon. So I'm probably, when I start uh, aptitude training Doraemon, or aptitude training, like once I get Doragoromon, or Doragoromon, I mean, I'm going to be degenerating to get to 99 aptitude. Probably go all the way back to Doraemon, go up to Ankylomon to get that favor quest with Ankylomon, and then back to Doraemon, and so on and so forth. You get it. You all understand. You're smart individuals. If you don't understand it, then you'll you'll get it when we get to it. Don't worry. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I want to use my boy, so put him up here, and then let's go with. Nah, we're fighting a lot of Aquans and Insects. I want to keep Stingmon because his metallic sphere or whatever it is uh, normally does a lot to Aquans. Probably try out Peckmon before too much longer. Alright, alright. Continuing onward. I think I'm back at the entrance. Yeah. Okay. I do remember the... Uh, I decided to take this path this time, but I do remember the other path had a whirlpool that... Uh, I was in a spot where it was like, choose between two whirlpools. Oh, I'm back here. Okay, great. Yep, yep. Here we go. This is uh, this is Packet Swamp, everybody. Packet Swamp. Everyone give a, give a round of applause for the game developers on Packet Swamp. Hey, Stingmon. Hey, Stingmon. You belong to me. Oh, my word, you're so fast. Stop that. 
It said Razor Claws, but then you, like, attacked me with your lightsaber. It's incredibly rude of you. Seriously? This is, like, fighting spirit. Okay, so Pepper Breath is my go-to, then. Why do you know Agumon's signature attack? Look, all I'm about to say is that Rock should, like, you know, if this was Pokemon, four times effective, you'd be beyond dead. But, of course, in this game, you just live. Must be nice. Wall of Ice! Really? That's what we're doing? Just gonna let them all live like that? I do really, like, I loved Digimon World DS, and I loved Dawn and Dusk. Fun games. I'm not saying that they're bad games, but... Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory do a lot better with the whole element thing and the data vaccine virus and the way, like, resisted hits and super effective hits work in that game compared to this one. So I'm really glad they make that change in uh, the Cyber Sleuth games. And I hope future story games keep in that trend. All right, I didn't take this one last time, so I'm hoping this is the right direction. Is this another? Yeah, another. Okay, so this time we're choosing right. If it's wrong, then we choose left next time. All right, that was wrong. Well, choose left. Bum, 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 bum. No! Leave me alone. I'm a busy man. No, not more Stingmon. They're so fast. They're too fast. Too furious. Please stop. Thank you for not hitting my Stingmon. He is a very sick boy. You scumbag. Ow. What actual monsters of the digital variety? Yo, look, 69 MP left. Nice. I swear, the number 69 just shows up so often, I don't understand why. How dare you live that? You coward. Stop hitting my Darugamon. He's new and he's precious. He means a lot to me, personally. I raised him from just a babe when he was a tiny little Doraemon. And all he had to his name was his adorableness. You get out of here. Alright, now that you've seen your friend die before your very eyes, or maybe your brother, your cousin, I don't know. Digimon have relationships like that? Probably not. Goodbye! Yo, Gilmon's level 22, let's go. Stingmon and Garurumon are both about to level up as well. But most importantly, Falcomon is about to level up. Alright, put you back in. Alright, so this time, first we go middle. And then we go left. Are you really gonna do this? It's gotta be the one that's further away, right? You would think. Where am I? Is, is this the wrong area or the right area? I don't know if this is bad or good. Where am I? Oh, there's a chest here. That's something. I'm sure that you can imagine just from looking at this, like, you know, like a nine-year-old version of me when I'm already bad at video games. Yeah, you can you can put the pieces together of, like, how much young me despise this location. Okay, I'm gonna need you to, like, not miss. We're fighting two ultimate-level Digimon that can, like, one-shot literally any member of my team because they have a triple-hit attack that does over 140 damage. Stop doing that! Why do you use the triple-hit move every single time? Also, why did you have to kill the two Digimon on either side so I can't use a Revive D. This is mildly annoying. Did these guys, like, ever not use Spiral Flower? Okay, thank you. Finally, something that isn't the Spiral freaking Flower. Live this. You gotta dodge one. Dodge this. I hate everything. You know what? Just goodbye. Okay. <sighs> this is 
is very annoying. Blossomon is way too freaking strong. I don't I don't want to change out with Able Digimon. Can I please just like leave? Like I just want to quit this fight. This fight is stupid. Fighting three or two, not three. Fighting two ultimate level Digimon that have a move that literally one shots everyone on my team unless I get a lucky dodge is very not fun. Like, seriously, just let me leave. Are you kidding me right now? Screw off. Oh my word. I'm probably actually about to lose and get forced out of the swamp. Really? Really? This is really what we're doing now. Look at this. Every time they use Spiral Flower, they get a kill. What a load of trash. Jeez, that's stupid. Oh, well, you get to see the death animation. Where he, like, falls over. It's such a load of garbage. Yeah, shut up. Freaking ultimate level Digimon that have a move that they use almost every single turn that does three hits. Always guarantees kills your mons unless you get a lucky dodge. What an absolute load of garbage. Now I gotta remember this stupid sequence I was doing because I think that might have been the right path. I don't even know. It might still be the wrong way. I hate this stupid swamp. I'm about to have to answer this stupid Digivice, too. Go away. There should be an option to just not even have this come up. Okay. Take the furthest one again. And then we have to take this little walk to the next uh, whirlpool. Which will take me back to that area where the chest was where I just died. Because friggin' whatchamacallit is a load of garbage. Why do I have this team configuration still? Get this out of here. Do that. I love Darugamon, but his best attacking move is Pepper Breath. I'm too far in the game to be relying on just Pepper Breath to attack. And Fighting Spirit isn't going to do crap. I hate running into this configuration because I don't have any moves that can hit this well. Good damage, at least. Good damage. Uh, kill the Vegemon, because I know I'll kill it. Not sure if I can kill that Crabmon from half, using an, a water-type move on it. Not the Instant Freezer. Oh, the Humanity. He's raised his defense. Whatever shall I do? I'll probably just, like, freaking Karate Chop him, I guess. What's your raised defense going to do about that, huh? What's your raised defense going to do about the Breath of Fire, huh? Taking out all my anger on those stupid Blossom on, on you, scumbag. And once again, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill you. Oh, never mind. I'm actually the greatest person to ever play this video game in the history of time. Yo, Falcomon needs like one more fight to Digivolve. Let's go. Gonna have to change the layout twice in the same video. I swear if those two Blossom on spawn again, I'm going to be pretty mad. That's a Stingmon. That's also very annoying, but not as annoying. Ah, uh, yeah, there's Blossmon. That is incredibly annoying. All right, this is better than the last setup I had, at least. Two Blossomon is just too much to deal with because they're, like, unless one of them decides not to Spiral Flower, then two of my Digimon die every time it gets around to their attacks. Uh, there's no way I'm going to kill that uh, Blossomon, so I'm going to try and kill the Stingmon because I think I can kill it. There we go. Please don't use Spiral Flower. Thank you. It's always fun when you get into a fight where your strategy for the fight is to cross your fingers and hope that the po or Pokemon, this is not Pokemon, this is Digimon. Very, very better franchise. Don't at me. Is to hope that the friggin' Digimon doesn't uh, go for the move that will guarantee kill you. Yo, let's go. Falcomon's level 20. We could actually get Dinobiumon if we wanted to now. And have our first ultimate. But like I said, I want to get Kongomon. Because I know I'm going to get rid of Stingmon anyway. Eventually. And by eventually, I mean relatively soon. It won't be much longer. 
We're just not quite at the Digimon that I want yet. But hey, it's, uh, not Stingmon, Peckmon. Gets a five level jump up to level 25, not bad. His attack stat is hot trash. But look at that speed. He is a speedy boy. And no one can take that away from him. There we go. Alright, all we have to do for Yadakaramon, which it's normally called Yadagaramon or Chromon. I've never heard Yadakara before. That's really weird, actually. All we gotta do is get to level 36. Uh, which we can't do. Because our aptitude is 34. Well... It's better to degenerate now instead of later if we need more. So here's what I didn't think I'd have to explain this until after I got my Megas when I would start doing this. But here's what we're going to do when I degenerate Digimon, since I'll be de uh, degenerating a lot in this playthrough to get the 99 aptitude. I just didn't think I'd have to do it for Pekmon to get to his uh, his ultimate form. Uh, I am going to rename Pekmon back to Falcomon because it'll drive me insane otherwise. But... I'm not going to change the layout whenever I degenerate a Digimon. Because you're going right bit. Falcomon is going to go right back to Pekmon. So I'm just going to. Uh, now, when we Digivolve to Pekmon, actually, because we degenerated once, we'll be able to peek ahead to see what our mega requirements are as well, by the way, which is a cool little thing that happens in these games. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the layout as Pekmon, because we're going to go right back to Pekmon in, as soon as it gets level 20. And then eventually you'll become Yadakaramon, and I'll change it to Yadakaramon. Oh, wow, you'll be level 42 when that happens, too. Okay, cool. But, uh, yeah, whenever I degenerate a Digimon, I'm not going to change the layout back. Because if I do that, then when I get to the, uh, the end game and I start degenerating to get, um... When I start degenerating a lot to get all the aptitude I need, I'll be editing the layout so much, I'll wish I was dead. So, I don't want to do that. Give me. A repair T. Okay, not bad. 